we are in the finals of one of our many Rocket League divisions. This one is going to be the middle school division. Once again, I'm Matthias, also known as Moth, as I'm joined by Daniil Betterson mcgee And it is a complete and utter joy to be able to bring you guys the action here today. It's it's hard not to feel the excitement as we get into the finals, even just stepping outside for a brief moment. You can tell how engaged everybody is, their seasons, all their play, practice, trials, and tribulations lead up to this one point here. And here, we have teams that are quite familiar with each other. We have the RLs versus the Parrots. The RLs hailing from Corpus Christi Middle School and also the Team Parrot hailing from Holy Family Catholic School. These teams, top two in their league so far, and they have quite a history with each other. These teams have played against each other before, twice to be exact. Both series going two to one for both of these teams at one point. So this is gonna be their tiebreaker, ultimately. Whoever comes out on top not only wins the championship, but really settles the score between these, uh, between these uh, two teams here. This is going to be the ultimate tiebreaker between the these two story teams who will take it all is the question we're all asking here and it looks like Team Parrot is gonna go for a goal there but they can't quite get it there and now the RLs are moving in trying to take a goal of their own trying to get something to work here. Team Parrot, it seems like they had a little bit of trouble getting it out, but ultimately they are able to recuperate and bring it back. It's back to the center. It's in the neutral play right now. Nobody is completely stealing it away just yet, but it can actually turn on its head in the blink of an eye. In fact, almost going in. It's going to get saved out by the RLs just in the nick of time, but Team Parrot still establishing a strong uh, offensive pressure so far. It seems that the RLs are trying to figure things out still, trying to get comfortable on how they want to play this game against Team Parrot. But like I said, these teams know each other. They've played against each other. They have an idea of how they work, how they tick, and I'm sure they both want nothing more than to come out on top. So I'm sure that whatever they need to do to get in, their, in this game, get their heads in the game, get focused, they're going to do it and do it fast because they only have three games to do so. Well, up to five, but you can only afford to lose three before you're out. Exactly, you don't have much room to lose right now, and right now you can tell that they're playing up their utmost potential. They are doing an amazing job on the defense here. Neither team scoring goals just yet, but getting so close. You've seen many shots on the goal, but it's just not quite going through because of the amazing defense on both sides. And now we see an air carry come out from Team Parrot, and they are closing in on the RL's net. We're just going to get driven away once again by the RL's. It's going to go back and forth once again. We see Team Parrot trying to bounce back and forth, trying to make something work here. And right now, trying to find a way to go in there. They can't quite get it, but now setting up for an amazing shot. Gonna get it off the top, but they can't quite sink it in. Once again, back to reset, but it's gonna be one more shot. Oh, Team Parrot finds an opening, and what a shot! Team Parrot scoring the first goal. That's gonna be a huge mark for these players. Finding the first shot, the first goal of this series will do a lot for your confidence in the rest of the team. Parrot doing a great job at establishing what they want to accomplish here in this series. And now it's on to the RLs to answer. Can they find a goal in similar style to Team Parrot? Or are they gonna go down in this game without finding one? A nice shot, but of course the RLs are there to save it. Team Parrot not relenting, trying to bring it right back over to the corner, but it's a disaster right now. They're all fighting so hard to get control of the ball, and ultimately the RLs are going to be able to take control and make a shot. Going to get saved, however. Team Parrot not losing sight of their goal right now, making sure they always have at least one ready for the defense, but it's not even like their offense is suffering as a result. It still feels strong as ever. Very strong game play all around for both teams right now. Team Parrot though in the lead by a point. It's two minutes for the RLs to try and close this one out, try and even this score line up. It's gonna be very hard. The balls are in for them, but a nice clear by Team Parrot. It's gonna make it that much more difficult for the RLs to sink it in, but they're gonna keep going. They're gonna get set up, gonna pass it right back and forth, try and get it in front of the net. We see one of the teammates trying to hold it here. They can't manage to quite do it as the Parrots are moving in. And 
beautiful harmony. They're trying to get another goal. Beautiful setup all around, but it gets cleared up with the arrows. Once again, the RLs looking to get a goal of their own. There's a nice setup, but the, the 50 comes through. They manage to win it. It's right in front of the goal, and the RLs sink their first goal, and they're evening out the score one to one. As you can tell, like we said before, these teams have played against each other before. They both walked away with the victory. It's going to be a close series, and I'm starting to really understand how close it's going to be now. The, uh, they are playing at such a level. It's basically a mirror match in terms of skill. I can't imagine this is going to be easy for either team to walk away with. But unfortunately, only one team can walk away a victor, especially in the entirety of the championship. But even in just in this game one, even though it's tied up and so close, somebody's going to have to get the win here. Right now, Team Pair wants to be that team. They're trying to steal control of the ball, but it's going to end up on their side of the field. A shot from the RLs was not too far behind, but it is going to be nicely controlled and protected by Team Parrot carrying the ball out now 30 seconds until this game goes into an overtime but can they find something before then a nice shot but honestly he's gonna get saved in a very impressive fashion they are not letting anything through just 15 seconds remains in this game one more shot seems to be coming out but it's going to go the way in fact team parent finds it an excellent shot very well done and that's gonna be their second goal the game 10 seconds for the RLs to answer can they do it uh, it's a tough job to do if I have to make an executive decision I would say the team parrot has this first game in the bag but we've seen crazy kickoff goals happen before mm -hmm. it's all up to the RLs right here yeah, the middle school division. We haven't been able to see them today, but they are putting on a very good show for us now with the two best teams of the division. They take game one. Team Parrot does so in a very close fashion. Team R the RLs, they're doing a great job as well, but they are going to lose game one. I cannot get that first game on one, but there's more games in store for them. And I think one of those kids did have a parrot style hoodie on the side of Team Barrett, which you love to see when you have the matching outfit to match the name. So props to them. But overall, great goals. Those teams are very evenly matched. It just came down to one decisive goal there. That one last 10 second goal from Team Barrett gave them that win. Absolutely. I feel like if we went into an overtime, I think it might have even Could taken 20 yeah. minutes before we saw something there. Thankfully, they are going to be able to find that goal and take us now into game two. But Team Parrot feeling the roster of Lost, um, Exotic Sig, and Candy, whereas the RLs are holding on Adam Bobcap, uh, Deadeye Nass, and Super Gamer. A very solid roster all around, and the RL is showing that they still want to keep fighting. They get the first goal of game two and they do so very fast an amazing blitzing at first goal for the side of the rls that's how you want to kick off your second game you want to start off on a good note especially after the snap so it seems like their mental is unable to be affected there and that's what you need in this game Tell. Looks like they're going for a second Ooh. goal. The back-to-back -back goals for nice. the RLs. <laughs> I, I like that kid's game face. He's really feeling himself up there. The energy can be palpable when you are performing at your peak in front of an audience. So I definitely understand the excitement. Game two already underway. The RLs leading two points. A demo comes through that very easily could have been uh, an opportunity for Team Parrot to clear but unfortunately for them it's not going to go their way just yet they're still fighting for it ultimately at least it's out of their net but they do get the clear eventually the rls make a shot but the team parrot returns the favor and now team parrot leading the offense towards the goal of the rls but eventually it's going to make its way back over to the blue side they're making it towards the center taking the shot it's going to go off the post actually no it's going to wow. go straight in team parrot get their first game 
eight shot of game two, and that's gonna lead to a nice one-two score line. With four have, minutes remaining. I was gonna say, four minutes remaining, it looks like we're gonna have a very high scoring game on our hands here, because only a minute in, we've already seen three goals. We have four more minutes to go. We're just about breaking the seal on this brand new game. Now, we're gonna see the Paris go for another goal, trying to make it into that corner there. We see the setup, but we see the dunk, and we see the clear, and the RLs is back and forth. And wow, what a high lob there into the net. The Parrots getting the second point on the scoreboard for themselves and bringing this game to two to two. Two to two, three minutes, 43 seconds remaining now. Whoever can get this next goal will definitely be feeling a lot more comfortable. I feel, uh, maybe I'm wrong, just pure speculation on my point. I feel like especially with high scoring games like this, it doesn't usually last the entire game. It's usually just out of the gate. You see a lot of goals coming out, but as time goes on, that's when the defense really starts to lock down. So I feel like whoever walks away with the next goal, as long as it's relatively soon, will be very comfortable to end this game. And it'll probably go in their favor with no more games remaining, uh, no more goals coming out. That's gonna be my guess at least. As longer the games go on, the defense usually gets better. But with three minutes remaining, and now we're tied 2-2, a lot of, both of these teams have a lot of incentive to just go all for it, try to find a goal, and then lock down their defense perfectly. That's what they're all planned for here. It looks like the Parrots are moving in on the RL's net, going for a dunk shot, can't quite sink it in. They're not gonna let up on the goal as he finds one from downtown, the rebound goal getting the third point for the Parrots and taking them into the lead. 3-2 to two now for Team Parrot. The RLs better hope that my prediction was wrong. I believe that now both of these teams are going to just completely shift roles. The RLs are likely to be a lot more aggressive than Team Parrot was just a minute ago. And now Team Parrot might be playing a little bit more passively. They want to maintain this lead. But what's important is you don't play too passively. You still want to be looking for opportunities to find goals because, of course, that will just make the gap even wider between you and your opponent. And as long as you're playing offensively, that forces them to stop their offense as well. So I'd encourage and expect Team Parrot to just make sure that while they're looking for opportunities for goals, they pay extra attention to their defense as well because they just have to make sure they don't lose any goals towards the RLs and they will take this game one once again over them. Right now, it seems to be the case that Team Parrot is trying to play with that in mind. As you can see, it's not even necessarily that they're playing offensively, they're just playing aggressively, keeping the ball in the side of the RL's field and making sure it's difficult for them to get it out. They're having their two go up, a triple commit. In fact, no, they're sending one back just as they should, make sure they have their net defended. They don't have the triple commit. They don't need the goal. They just need to make sure it stays on the RL side of the field. And as long as it is on their side of the field, they want to make sure it's going their way. But a cheeky side swipe, a triple commit from the team parrot probably a miscommunication that could have been a huge goal from the rls but there's not going to be capitalized on thankfully team parrot for themselves or for their sake at least they might might have been a wake-up call to make sure they stay on top of their defense because the rls really could have ran away with that one a minute and 10 seconds remain and team parrot is still maintaining this lead just like i thought matthias the defense of both teams really tightened up as this game went on we're not seeing as many goals as we were a bit ago no, this has come to a standstill. Parrot has locked down on the defense, but they still get to hammer away on this offense. One minute remains left on the clock, and now we see the blitz come through. They want this security goal, and they might as well have it, but they just barely missed the goal there, and that was an amazing shot on the goal, but nonetheless, Ooh. they go for a contest there, and they manage to find it. They're not going to let up. They're going to take another shot on the goal, and that oh, one's looking very good, but it's the crossbar, but just barely. There's 30 seconds left on the clock and the RLs have to try and even out the score and they want to bring this one over time. They brought this one so far here and now you don't want to be struggling against the match point. Put in the reverse sweep scenario. You don't want that to happen and 
now. Team Parrot oh. still doing this in the lead. Ooh. They want to try and get that security goal. Look at that. It's all lined up, but the it's clear safe. comes through for the RLs. Now with 10 seconds of running, they have one more shot left on the goal. They need the disruption. They get it, and now they need to keep this ball up in the air, and they need to try and sink it in soon. But with a touch, it's going to go down, and now Team Parrot is on series point. Up 2-0 against their long-standing rivals. I'm sure they must be feeling comfortable. And now I see where you're talking about the pair hoodie. <laughs> I love it. It's very cool. I kind of want to get one myself, honestly. But as they go into this game three situation, I'm sure they know they don't want to let it get to their heads. They have to make sure they're playing composed. They have to make sure they're playing at 100. They don't want to let off the gas. And they have to assume that their opponents can and will take any opportunity they can to steal the game away from them. Because again, these are the top two teams. They played against each other before, and it's always been close one to one both times, or one to one is their record against each other. This is gonna be the ultimate tiebreaker, and I'm sure neither of these teams wants to lose this one. So the RLs will be playing with that in mind, and I'm sure are gonna be bringing their 110% to team parents, so 100% going to this game three situation. Now, as we start things off, I think it's starting off strong as we're already seeing a demo for team parent and they're already continuing their offense from the last game a shot that goes through just barely misses two saves come out there for the rls and that's going to be a nice clear a lot of breathing room triple commit for team parrot sending it out towards the left side of the field and now the rl is looking to intercept but it goes way too high it's going to be forced into the corner now and it's going to be right in front of their net but a nice save once again the rls are still in this game sending it right back over to the blue Sending right back. We're about a minute into this game. No goal so far. It seems like this one's going to be a little bit of a slower game. They will play a little bit more methodically, especially when those nerves are all Ooh. high. But RLs getting the first score in this game. A very good goal indeed with almost exactly a minute down on the clock. He finds that shot, goes in, and that's going to be fireworks going off for this team. They find what they need. They're able to recover. They were able to look within themselves, figure out what was going on in those last two games, and hopefully patch it up. I feel like they're facing a lot less pressure. Team Parrot seems to be working a lot harder, but it's not going their way anymore in terms of this offensive pressure. Another demo is going to come out, and I feel like if the Team Parrot wants to even capture uh, uh, anything similar to the kind of experience they were having in the previous game, they're going to need to look for more demos to give them those opportunities to get aggressive because the RLs are playing so well right now. I can't imagine you can get that much done oh. with them, but he makes me eat my words <laughs> and finds the goal nonetheless. No demo is required. This is a full <laughs> version, not a free trial. Taking it through, finding a shot, tying it up with only in fact, upstaging that team, in fact, wow. took them a minute to get a goal. Took them only 30 seconds. Jeez, yeah, that is correct, Daniel. They are performing amazingly. What a sneaky air carry there. Just alley-ooped it all the way there into the goal. But looks like the RLs are not going to let that go unanswered even quicker. I think that was 15 seconds or less. Oh, no, that's uh, that's too bad. But <laughs> doesn't matter. They got the win. They're in the lead. They're locked in. They're focused. Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. I was making it a point about the, how long it took them to get each goal. That one only took them about five or ten seconds. <laughs> so already upstaged in this game of horse, they're not going to be able to beat that record. But almost losing down another shot. Team Parrot bringing the sigh of relief, and now they're breathing a sigh of aggression as they take it over to the orange side, trying to make it work here, trying to get something, trying to get it done. But it is going to escape their clutches. Going to bring it right back. These parrots are carnivorous, and they smell prey. They're not letting up off the offense, but they have to understand. They got to make sure they keep their defense up as well. They're sending one back into the net, and they're going to try to clear it. A nice interception is going to come through, keeping it over on blue side. But a parrot's going to take it right out, off into the corner, off the wall. Can they find that shot? No, it's going to get intercepted. A pass is going to be made, but their goalie is almost, in fact, gets kind of swiped out, looking to get that save, but a shot's going to get made. Thankfully, the rest of the team was there. A parrot's going to take it right out flying out to see can you make this shot work kind of clearing it back but it's going to go over to the blue the rls are making a great moments great movements to make sure that this ball does not go where they don't want it to but team Parrot is doing an excellent job as well of continually swatting it back 
Exactly. They're doing an amazing job keeping themselves in this. They just need one more goal on the board to get themselves back in this. But the RLs just continuing that momentum, that leadership point, that point leader position that they are in. And right now, the pair making great strides to try and carry this ball to the other end, but it keeps getting swatted back by the RLs. Right now, RLs gearing up for a third goal, but it gets saved out in mid-air. And now, Team Parrot just itching to get this out of their side. It's been in this corner for about 30 seconds here. It's a long time, these Rocket League games. Now, it just might have been cleared out. Wins the 50. Going to win out the air carry once again. And this is a good time to set up. Almost gets a clear there. That's an opportunity for oh. Team Parrot. But it just does not go their way. And now, RLs get to clear it once again. They're still not lining up Team Parrot once the win. They know time is ticking. There's a minute 20 left on the clock. And now time is ticking. We see Team Parrot start to move forward even closer to this next goal. But now the RL still not letting up either. Both teams going at full throttle. No one is letting up on the gas. I really like how Team Parrot's playing right now. They're playing aggressive, but they're sp still playing reserved enough. They're not going all the way, but they're going far enough to find the goal. Two to two with just a minute remaining. I don't think you could ask for anything more to make this any more exciting. It's the tiebreaker for their records against each other this season. And it is now the goal tiebreaker to potentially either make this the last game of the series or to bring this to a game four and potentially set us up for the reverse sweep. I don't know which way it's going to go right now, but the way the winds are blowing, it's absolutely going to be exciting one way or the other. It's right now, Team Parrot working to get the clear out. 40 seconds remaining now. The RLs are doing so much work. They get the save and they get the clear. Good coordination on their end. It's going to be ha it's going to have to be fast if you want to make sure the Team Parrots don't force the ball back over to your side. And right now, they're struggling underneath that same problem. It's stuck on their side and they can't really quite get it out but they're going to get out eventually and they're going to get the shot wow. can you get it in no it just misses you can feel the frustration in the players but you can't let it get to you all you can do is set yourself up for another one over to the corner the rls looking to get the clear but triple commit from team paris they're all there they're already throwing caution to the wind making the shot and if it touches the ground it's overtime it might not even do that though they're going straight wow. forward, but no, it hits the ground and here we are overtime in this game three, who's going to take this one? The first overtime Ian and Daniel have cast it today is, of course, it's going to be the grand finals. And already, Team Parrot putting up uh -oh. the pressure right in front of the net. Uh -oh. Everyone's trying to clear it out again, but oh it's a slower goal. And Team Parrot has won the finals of the OC tournament. The OC championship goes to Team Parrot. Such a heartbreaking loss for Team Arles for sure, but they played so incredibly well. What a match for both of these teams. A showstopper done for Team Parrot. Such good records, close games against each other all season long. But when it comes to this final game, when it comes to the OC championship, Team Parrot, they don't pull any punches. They do not. Those Parrots are squawking all the way to victory. <laughs> and wow, what amazing gameplay all around. That was a very exciting match. I cannot believe how high octane and high action that one was. I can. This is the OC <laughs> Championship, baby. Of course. They're bringing it all at all points in time. The middle school division, those are the two best teams that we brought here today. Of course, all the other teams playing so well, of course course throughout the season and here today i'm sure everybody's proud of how they did nobody more than team parrots though exactly they had an amazing run through this entire tournament and they have now secured themselves winning the 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 victory the best two out of three they had going with that exactly. enemy team they won it with a decisive 3-0 but that was as close as you could get in that final game absolutely ball those it's a 3-0 but as we often say here on the saints broadcast you know the numbers don't tell the whole story you know it's a very, very, very close series altogether. But, you know, it did end up going 3-0 the way of, you know, Team Parrot. But it was still a hard-fought game nonetheless. Very well played by both of these teams. I'm excited to see what they have in store for the future, you know. Maybe one day we'll end up seeing them on the Saints broadcast as players. Exactly. You never know.
Exactly. Whether they're hopefully on the Saints team or hopefully not against us. But yeah, that is an amazing <laughs> congrats to Team Parrot. And it was an amazing run, amazing gameplay, and an amazing run through this tournament. I must say that twice just to emphasize how amazing it was. But now that's not all we have in store here today, is it, Daniel? No, we still have two more championships to crown. We have the Diamond Plus Division and the Platinum Minus Division for the high school teams. Those games are coming up right as soon as we finish up with a quick break. And we hope you don't go anywhere because you don't want to miss any more of this action. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. <laughs> 